Alright, we are back. Welcome back to Fa Kingdom Hearts 1.5 HD Remix. This is Gamer of Glory. I have returned. Evan, say hi. Hey. Alright, we are back. And get ready, because this is going to be pretty hard. There are three bosses that we're going to get through. Oh, joy. <laughs> so yeah, make sure you're make sure you're all prepared, because... Well, there are tough boss fights coming up. I think I already said that. And uh, man, was it a painfully long climb. Oh, yeah. But you at least need to finish one of the boss fights in order to get through it, so yeah. Because I hope you're ready, make sure you have gravity in your shortcut, because this... Because, well, if you're... If you know what you're doing, this could be easy. But if you don't, well, good luck. I didn't have too hard of a time with this fight. And, oh. uh, why gravity? I never used that during this. Well, I'll explain later. Can you but first, the screen a bit? Sure, hold on. Like Thank this? You. Okay. It's a really dark room. Uh, yeah, you're, he, she's bullshitting. <laughs> the final keyhole will be unseen. This world will be plunged into darkness. It is unstoppable. Yeah, right. We'll stop it. <laughs> it's unstoppable. We'll stop it. It feels like we're Dr. House. You poor, simple fools. You think you can defeat me? Yeah. <laughs> Says you. Alright, boss fight with Maleficent. She has three bars. Yeah. So yeah, see this platform? Cast gravity on it. Or well, and <laughs> it drops. You can easily kill this. You can easily kill the grav. You can easily kill the platform, and yeah. She also summons defenders and dark balls. So be careful. She also can cast lightning storms. She if also laughs, laughs like Ursula. Oh yeah. Ow. She also transforms into a wisp, and the platform will shake you off if you're. If you're actual, well, if you're on it, so yeah, be careful. So the thing you have to do: always cast gravity when the platform glows blue. That is that is the trick that you have to do. Oh uh, yeah, she laughs all the damn time. Uh, Just like Ursula. Yeah. Well, oh, watch out for the lightning strikes. Thankfully, it stuns her if you knock her down. So yeah, um, there is one. There's another enemy that you have to deal with and it gets really annoying when she says that she summons <laughs> she summons blue balls at you actually <laughs> so yeah she can be like a time space mage kinda ish but thankfully with strike rate I can easily get rid of the heartless oh lucky strike what a time though yeah what a time <laughs> yeah she laughs too much gravity shut her up please thank you very much yeah, like I said, it stops her animation attacks, like, it stops her meteors and it stops her lightning strikes. But it doesn't stop her heartless. And she says it again. When she says the meteors, always back away, because she freaking hurts. Yeah, you'll know that because Josh just charged right at her with, with uh, Strike Raid. Oh, yeah. I love Strike Raid because of how much, how much depth, how much long range it has. Plus invincibility frames. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> keep laughing, Broad. Yeah, your defenders don't scare me. When I use strike rate, just a oh, lot. Yeah, I forgot defenders can shoot fire. Um, yeah, they they shoot fire. <laughs> yeah, they cast magic. They cast fire, blizzard. You already seen fire and blizzard. Uh, so yeah, so yeah, repeat the process. Really easy fight if you know what you're doing. Just remember that you have to cast gravity. I believe the strategy guide actually mentions that you have to cast gravity, because nothing in this match ever tells you that you have to cast gravity. Well, you can do it. Well, like I said, you can do it without gravity. I didn't even know you could use gravity on it. Well, the more you learn, <laughs> the more you know, Evan. Does, do, do, does it look. It looks like I'm curb stomping her right now, actually. See? I didn't even need to cast a cure spell. Dead. See? And MP haste. All right. And I think I just broke her legs. <laughs> so yeah, after that fight, we actually get Donald's cheer. And Goofy's MP rage. Oh, well, Goofy's MP haste. Oh uh, yeah, you know. And what I mean. Don and Donald got lucky strike, which means it's a good day. Hooray! Yep, that's the one that matters. Yep. See, Donald learned cheer. And answers report number five. We will read that later. All right, now that we have lucky, we have lucky strike. Uh, well, Donald doesn't have anything to accommodate that. 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry, MP Haste. But you have to move over. So yeah, anyway, into that hole right over there it is another boss fight. Be careful, because that boss fight will wreck your butt, if you're not careful. Because this is actually the part where everybody gets stuck. I managed. Oh, well, yeah. Granted, I used Tinkerbell. Well, I had to use... Well, you have to use Tinkerbell, man. You don't really have a choice. <laughs> 4008. Yeah, overriding. Saving the day, saving the game. Make sure you save your game. <laughs> it's healthy for you, folks. Anyway, right over here, it is a boss fight, so be careful. The first black screen. You know, the black screen really is getting on my nerves. Oh, that pizza wasn't good. <laughs> Do you need some help? Do you need some help eating that pizza? Oh, hey, remember Beast? Oh, yeah, Beast. <laughs> yes, a keyblade. <gasps> Another keyblade? This keyblade holds the power to unlock people's hearts. Allow me to demonstrate. Ow. And thus she got her injection. Now, the injection of darkness. Surrender it to the darkness. Become darkness itself. Take note of the the Riku's handle on the keyblade. It looks very familiar. This is it. This power. <laughs> darkness. The true darkness. You know, you can imagine that she landed a very huge fart. And look at all that gas! Or she could just us to pull the Garen from Fire Emblem Fates, and after the slowing screen turned into a dragon. Because Fire Emblem, no ex no explanations for the dragon, mind you. We just need that there for tradition's sake. Why is it always dragons, man? I would have preferred like I don't know. Anyway, cast Tinkerbell if you if you feel if you don't feel ballsy at all, you don't have to cast her. But I cast her just in case. Why is she pretty much the Aqua to this Garen fight? She, yeah, it is. <laughs> so, Tinkerbell, she is the best summon in the game, all because A, your parent, A, your party members don't disappear. Your, she always heals you, and when you, and when you die, she always gives you an auto life. So yeah, Maleficent Dragon, oh boy. This is actually where everybody gets stuck, all because of how much damage she does. Not to mention she has a lot of attacks. Pretty fast ones too, like yeah. the stomping attack, the biting attack. The biting attack, the claws. Um, she breeds fire, which covers like a sixth of the field. It gets annoying if you move out of the way, but... Well, at least this is a big arena. When she moves her head like this, she is gonna jump and slam your tail at you. And after, one, after a bar, she is gonna summon fireballs. And she also sweeps the room with fire, so... Yeah, like I said, the fire is gonna be the major concern. Because, I mean, the fire just is annoying. And you can def- oh, And another thing about Tinkerbell, she doesn't wear off until she uses the auto life. Oh, yeah. Or you, or you can dismiss her, but why would you dismiss her? So, you can see that I'm playing this one safe, because... Well, Malef Maleficent Dragon can re be a real big pain if you're not careful. Because every time you move... Every time you move, like, beside her or behind her... She will always use the stomp attack to get where you are, and that could kill your t party members if they're not careful. Yeah. And that is Maleficent Dragon for you, halfway Doesn't through. Doesn't healing seem a bit redundant when you got Tinkerbell on the field? Eh, yeah. Well, I use I use healing just so I can use, like, Leaf Bracer or something. Out. <laughs> yeah, those shockwaves are annoying. Yeah, you can see that she's moved- that in order to face you, she has to stomp around. Ugh, man. The strategy guy actually said that you have to jump on her back and cast Strike Raid all the time. Can you do that? Um, it's not- I don't think it's a viable strategy at all. Get up on the Hydra's back! Oh. <sighs> but not a- <laughs> Evan! Oh, but yeah, you can actually- you can actually stand on the roots and the- And unless you have very good blocking skills, the fire won't get you. Okay, so once she reaches like one and a half bars left, She's gonna do a different breathing animation. Oh, and the ca tail carried me around. Um, when she she will stand on her hind legs, she'll breathe fire for like five seconds and then s slam on the ground. So yeah, be careful. <laughs> um, I believe it's here. She waves her head around, breathing fire, and then she slams. 
That's her fun. That's her strong. That's her most annoying attack, actually. Oh man. And she does it again. Oh no, she doesn't. And she's dead. Come on. There we go. Nice. And I got critical plus. Oh yeah. And yeah, she she actually gives a really good amount of experience at this point. I think it's around like four thousand. Uh, I think that pizza's really, really getting her this time. <laughs> did she turn into a dragon in the whatever movie she was in? Yeah, she did. But that, but at that game, well, at that game, we had a sword that enchantedly killed her, somehow. But apparently, we killed her at this point, so it didn't matter. And she is, uh, what is that? How ironic. She was just another puppet after all. Riku, what happened to your voice? <laughs> The Heartless were using Maleficent from the beginning. Oh, they have brains too. She failed to notice the darkness in her heart eating away at her. A fitting end for such a fool. Now we really are going straight into Fire Emblem territory with this crap. Oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah, that was his balls dropping. Anyway, we got Fire Glow. That is another... That Our is own a... dragon, that's not nearly as awesome. Oh, but I wanted Bahamut! Come on! What's wrong with having Bahamut in this game? Voiced by Eddie Murphy. <laughs> that would have been cool, man. Anyway, removing that door reveals a secret passage. I wonder what we're gonna do in there. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, save here, and I believe... How much time do we have left? Yeah, we have time. We are gonna go... Actually, we're gonna save first, and I don't know what I do first. Do I either press on ahead, or do I go backtrack? No, we're not gonna backtrack yet. Because we are gonna go to the lift stop. Again. Don't worry, it's the last time. Don't worry, it's like the last time we're ever gonna go here. Yeah, screw the Heartless. Yeah, screw the Heartless. We have another tough boss fight coming up. This fight actually gave me a bit of trouble. This fight? Ugh. There is one thing that you want to do before you want to do this fight, and that is to de-equip Gravity Break. Ugh. Gravity Break? Why? I will explain later, alright? But first, we have a very, very, very long cutscene. So yeah, how about that stairs? <laughs> loudest st That's the loudest terrain in the game. Yep. By the way, ding plot out. barrier. <laughs> Most it let Donald through. <laughs> so it's racist. <laughs> Kyrie. Kyrie. Racism in a kingdom in a in a Disney game. Good grief. Now I don't know what this shot right here. I don't know if it's a, a HD remix exclusive or a final mix exclusive, because I don't remember that. I don't think I remember that shot at all. The keyhole cannot be completed, so long as the last princess of heart still sleeps. Oh, Sora is finally getting Sora is finally getting the idea. a princess. Yes, and without her power. The keyhole will remain incomplete. Why? It is time <laughs> Because the script said so. Give him back his heart. Please, Namora calls. He wants his heart back. You must give the princess back her heart. Oh, heartburn. Oh, oh that lousy pizza. Oh, that freak. Ah, oh. I knew I should have ordered Canadian. <laughs> the Lux is just disgusting. Kyrie's heart rests within you. Kyrie, Kyrie's inside me. Ah, ah, sex joke. <laughs> I know all that there is to know. No, you don't. Tell me, who are you? I'm Mora. <laughs> he uh, takes off the mask. It was me the whole time. <laughs> you thought it was I, Ansem, but it was me, Namora. <laughs> I love this part. Up and way! Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> and well, here. I was effective as a rubber duck. So, Can you assert a squeaking sound? <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> Complete the keyhole with your power. Open the door. Lead me into everlasting darkness. And here comes the slowest swing ever. <laughs> <laughs> that look on his face, though. Sora. That's like a rape face. Right before he was about to eat the last slice of pizza. I just realized it has Hercules written on that keyblade. That was that was a very lame line right there. Hmm. Alright, duel with Riku. Oh boy. I forget the name of this track, but this is one of my favorite tracks in this game. I think it's called Force Dead Mal or something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I love this track to death. 
All right, so remember when I said to de-equip Gravity Break? Um, I'll show it later. <laughs> this this is a this is a pretty hard duel if you're not careful, cause yeah, there. This is more like the fight with. See, uh, uh, doesn't affect yeah. him at all. I, I was I had a I had a major brain fart, cause it's like oh crud. That means I have, that means I have one up to me. <laughs> so he behaves actually just like the previous Riku fight. He blocks in Destiny Islands. No, not no in uh the initial Hollow Bastion vi visit. When he throw when he threw a wooden sword at you, all right, he gets darkness, and he can use a uh, blade beam. A uh, blade beams. I didn't know he could deflect those, but those hurt. So, like the fireball with Leon, I would recommend just avoiding them. Yeah. Ow. Those pillars. Ow. Yeah, I heal a lot because gravity break kind of betrayed me. <laughs> it's because this guy is. Uh, yeah. It's this guy is unaffected by other magic. So yeah. Oh, we still kept this awesome track. Yeah, I, I love this track so much. There we go. He has, still has a combo breaker, and he's still... Sorry. <laughs> oh, you can interrupt that attack? No, you can't. Oh. When does he do that super attack? Uh, super attack? What do you mean? Uh, Dark Aura, I believe it's called. I believe once he reached the last bit of bar, actually, in, in his health bar. Does that happen in this fight? Yes, it does. He spams it so much. Ah. There it is, Dark Aura. Or is that just glide? <laughs> yeah. No, you you don't have to glide at all. There we go. Ow! But he still has that glowing ball on his on his arm. What is that anyway? I want that. Noken. Uh, no, his. Ugh. And there he goes again. Like I said, he spams the hell of that hell of that attack. But you don't have to. But you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to glide. And I'm use, abusing Leaf Bracer as it's supposed to be. Yeah, this took me a few tries to do, because he hurts. Ugh, again. And his attacks are hard to dodge. And save that one. Like I said, he just... Whoa, ow. There we go. So yeah, this... <laughs> that's what the rest of the part is. This Riku fight, right here. Slacking, slapping the hell out of him. Yeah, if you need to, just, just guard his attacks. Just as, just remember to have a, a blade that can deflect and do counterattack. I believe if you use the lady luck, it won't it won't counterattack. So be careful. Does the lady luck say it can't counterattack? Um, the Olympia says that it can counterattack. No, but does the lady lucky outright say that it can't counterattack? I don't know, cause I remember testing it out with lady luck, and it didn't counterattack for some reason. There we go. Should have done that sooner. No, it, it was cool like that. But we did beat his ass for the third time. Well, he did one-up me in the... He did one-up me in uh, the Riku race. <laughs> Not with <laughs> Never <stand> forget. <laughs> Notwithstanding the Riku race. So yeah, this is Kingdom Hearts 1.5 HD Remix. We'll be back for part 47. This is Gabriel Glory. I shall return. Heaven say bye. Bye. Hopefully we can get back to our high wind. Uh, shut up. It is the dumb fuck to you.